What's up guys, this is Sunny and here's the part 2 video of Asus X99-A Hackintosh running OS X Yosemite 10.10.5 running flawlessly my everyday workstation and I'm sorry guys it took me some time to shoot this video I was sick I think I got kind of flu or something I had it really bad and my voice kind of got messed up so if you see you know my voice sound a little funny please don't mind because I kind of lost my voice like sound really funny sometimes so bear with me and as you can see the reason it took me some time uh, making this video because I had to make I make a list for you guys so I don't know if you guys did watch my previous videos uh, that's different from the video I'm shooting right now because right now I have like a list you know from now on if I show you guys any kind of like the guide for anything you know building PC building gaming PC building Hackintosh building whatever so first thing I will do I'll have a, uh, a list so it will be easier for you guys you know like whatever parts I use or whatever I do whatever software so basically as you can see I have a 1 to 10 steps you need to take for you know running your Asus x 9 Deluxe or Pro motherboard running uh, stable you know running OS X Yosemite 10.10.5 so first thing what do you need to do number one you need to download OS X Yosemite 10.10.5 from Mac App Store number two you need a USB drive 8 gig or more number three format USB drive using disk utility to GUID format number four create a bootable USB drive using Univis 5.2.0 number five patch the kernel as you can see I will name my Univis uh, drive Univis so that's why as you can see right here Univis drive name so you can name your Univis drive any name but in this video I will name my Univis drive Univis so as you can see so you need to patch the kernel number six copy Voodoo TSC sync now this kicks if for only six or eight core CPU to your Univis drivers extension folder Number seven, boot with the Univis drive using these boot flap. Now make sure if you if you have a Asus X9 and A Deluxe or Pro motherboard, make sure you use these boot flag flag same time and make sure you have space between all of them. Now if you have a 900 series graphic card, you need the boot flag NV underscore disable equal one. Without that boot flag, you cannot boot. Number eight, go to disk util utility from Yosemite installer format hard drive or SSD to GUID format and install Yosemite now for this method we will need only one um, hard drive or SSD we don't need to because this motherboard we can boot with GUID format okay so you don't need one for GUID and one for MVR and then copy GUID uh, to MVR. You don't need to do none of that. Okay, you need to do that for Gigabyte motherboard, but not for Asus motherboard. Cause I'm running right now with uh, GUID uh, formatted and working perfectly fine. It boots and everything. Okay, number nine. After installing Yosemite, reboot and boot back with Univis Drive. Open terminal and copy kernel of kernel <laughs> patch from Univis drive to your Yosemite hard drive. So basically, what you're gonna do here after you install Yosemite, okay, and then you have to reboot again back to your Univis drive and open the terminal and then copy the kernel patch from your Univis drive to your new Yosemite hard drive you just installed Yosemite okay now again you see here Univis drive name you can name your uh, Univis drive you know any name you want now I 
will name my Unibis drive Unibis. So that's why my uh, Unibis drive name is here, Unibis, and then you need to copy that to your Yosemite hard drive, okay? And then after that, you need to reboot the system, and then here is number 10, install kicks using multibis 7.5.0 reboot and enjoy and you will definitely have a flawless running stable OS X US 10.10.5 with your Asus X10 and Dash 8 Deluxe and a Pro motherboard. Now I'm I'm gonna remind you guys again I lost my voice my voice gonna sound a little funny I will have a little hiccup while I talk and stuff so please don't mind I'm sick only reason I am shooting this video for I know bunch of you hitting me up and you know telling me that i need to shoot this video already because you guys already built the system and you guys need to install your uh osx so so hey i listen to you guys okay so make sure any of you watching my video make sure you subscribe to my channel share like the videos support the channel okay thanks all right now okay now first thing what you need to do open this utility okay and then as you can see i have the usb right here what we need to do first erase mac os extended journal yes and we can name we don't need to name here we can name it later and just erase that yeah take some time take some time okay then we need to go to partition one and then now we can name that uni list all right and make sure guid partition table all right and then we apply and we should be now we'll open tools you guys need to also download univist uh, 5.2 from tony mac x86 and just go next click next yes continue yosemite continue we don't need none of that continue continue now here now all you need to do enter the password click ok continue and it will take you around half hour to 40 minutes now sometimes some of the computer take one hour now it all depend on your system or the if you're using usb 2 or 3 so it will de depend on you know what type of system you are using now i'm not going to install it right now because i already have that like ready for you guys so that's all you need to do okay now after you finish installing we need to patch the uh, kernel so what we will do oh sorry we need to open uh, terminal all right and uh, I have the patch right here okay as you can see now as you can see my uh, USB uh, okay as you can see my USB name is Univist okay so right here you you like whatever uh, your um, Univist USB name you need to put it right here so I already did mine is Univist you can name your USB uh, drive to Univist also you know it, that's easy so, so oops sorry I just find that easy so all right so we'll copy the first one okay now these are the sudo command so you do need a password okay so make sure your computer have a set password okay so enter and then I'll just enter my password if your password is all right 
perfectly fine and then we'll copy the second one and we'll do the same thing and we'll enter that's it that was it the kernel is already packed and thanks to stinger 11 for his great work because of him we get to patch the kernel x99 and all that so thanks stinger and uh, okay can close that don't worry about that we'll come back to that now we need to open univist and we need to uh, copy the copy the voodoo ts sync okay the kicks now this kick is only for six or eight core uh, processor if you have a quad core you don't need that now the fastest way we could do that by holding shift common g okay now i already have it set up because i already did that so basically what do you do first slash volumes first slash and then your univist uh name right here univis uh, usb drive name here and then first slash extra for slash extension click ok as you can see i have that there now if you don't have it let me just show you let's put it this way i don't have it there all you do is just drag and that's it and you have it there now i know all you see there is only one case there is a lot more just showing us one right now so don't worry about it all right guys and now you are ready to boot with universe drive okay now what do you need to do you need to reboot the system okay with universe universe drive and then go to disk utility oh sorry uh make sure uh, now you need to reboot the system using universe drive and make sure you use these right here these are uh, boot flags now if you have a 900 series graphic card you need to use these boot flags plus nv underscore disable equal one so you need to use like four boot flags okay with this boot flags you should be fine uh you will just get to installer uh, after you get into installer go to disk utility okay from your your smart installer and then format hard drive or ssd to guid format and install yosemite now after you finish installing yosemite okay you need to reboot again get back in like get boot into uh Univis drive again okay you need to open the terminal and then copy the patch you just did right here the kernel patch you need to copy that from your usb drive to your usmity hard drive so as you can see mine says univis drive name so whatever your univis usb drive name and then your yosemite hard drive name okay and that should be it and then after that you reboot the system and then you install the kicks using multibase uh, 7.5.0 and you should be perfectly fine now i'm going to show you how to install the multibist and what you need to install from multibist uh, let me just, okay so go to quick start dsdt free okay driver so from a driver go to universal okay and then click the last one okay voodoo hda okay v2.8.7 that's for the uh, universal basically the high def audio sound okay and then disk you could just leave uh, third party sata and then trim just don't worry about 10.10.3 10 just you can check that that's what i have it works perfect and don't worry about graphic because obviously you got a graphic card and then go to my misc mm, click usb 3.0 uh, new cpu power management fake smc 
fake SMC and make sure you check if you have an 8 core CPU make sure you click on 8 if you have a 6 core CPU make sure you click on 6 network you go to Intel and then you can choose the latest Intel so the latest is this one v3.2.4.2 all right and then system uh you don't need to do nothing the patch uh apple intel that's okay you can check that just leave it don't worry you can check that now bootloader um can check by default just leave that and then customize do not check 1080p display mode sometimes what happened when you check that when you click that what happened a system boot up and goes to black screen so just ignore that don't do that and uh, everything else stays same uh, if you want an instant a menu like you want to put into your menu then you check that if you don't want then you don't have to do that and then go to SSDT option nothing system defined lib default okay mac pro no oh, don't don't touch it don't do nothing theme you could choose whatever uh i i like the default so i'll just pick that and build and that should be it guys here is my asus x99-a multi-beast guide you guys can copy all this so basically what you could do you guys could can copy all this take a screenshot and that should be it and after that you can install now make sure before you installing anything from multivis or any third party you need to go to menu system preference you need to go to security and privacy you need to unlock that with your password and make sure make sure you check anywhere you need to do that if you don't do that it's not gonna work you need to do that okay check anywhere and click anywhere whatever and then lock it back and then you come back here and you install it you know click install you agree and then you put your password and you just wait and after that you reboot the system and you should be fine now sometime the volume is gonna like after you install you finish now the system sound will give you a little issue so go to system sound okay as you can see right here you will have that don't worry you don't need to touch that go to sound and then you need to uh, choose the output line out so I have line out green rare so make sure you choose that green rear okay and that should be it you are all set and if sometime volume goes away what you will what you basically do is um, turn off the computer fully and then turn back on and then you will work perfectly fine as you can see mine working perfectly fine so that should be it guys let me know if you guys have any other question like i said take a screenshot of that or you know just save it uh like i said i'm kind of sick my voice is kind of like messed up and um if i did sound bad in this video i'm sorry you know so that, that's why maybe sometime i'm you guys could see me like having a little hiccup and whatever not but that should be it guys make sure you subscribe to the channel support the channel help the channel you know and that's the way i can help you guys and you know that's why i'm here for peace guys like i said also don't forget to follow me in twitter and instagram twitter not sunny seven instagram not sunny seven peace see you next time